our dream was to build an amazing and inspiring game company. Pirate King was the first game that we created all in-house. Five people just making the game. For us, this experience was very important. Me and Moro met uh, when we were in seventh grade. Uh, since then, we were best friends. We both uh, loved playing games. We started Jelly when we were 21 with the other founders. It was really exciting to touch people through our games. Pirate King is a very simple game and very fun. You spin the wheel and then you can attack your friends and other friends from other islands. You can also steal money from them and this causes this effect of engagement. We wanted to bring the single player and the multiplayer experience and to bond them together and to create this mingle player experience. It's a unique experience that we haven't seen currently on mobile. Parking started when we had 200 installs a day. It was very small. We saw the growth start in Israel, and then it started to grow in US, and then Europe, and then Asia. For today, we have over 200,000 of installs a day. We have over 18 million of users play Pirate King. Over 60% of that are Android. Android revenue represents 50% of our total revenue, which is amazing for us. It would be super natural to go into new markets and build our strategy on the Android growth and platform. Our experience with developing parkings for Android was very positive. Quick iterations, the time to upload the, to production is one of the shortest of all of the platforms that we support. Debugging is really great. In general, we just love the platform. One of the main tools that we use to collect and analyze data is Google BigQuery. We actually receive around 3 billion events per month. One of the times that we found out really important information from analytics was that we found out 40% drop in users in a specific step. But once we actually looked at that part in the code, we found out that we had a bug and we fixed it and raised it back to 90%. It's a must. You have to have analytics. My main tip to people who want to develop a cross-platform game or application is to develop to Android first because of the quick iterations because of how easy it is to build, how fast you can deploy to production, and all of that combined is just the best platform that we had the experience to deploy to production in such large scale. It's been an incredible journey for us. From small offices to bigger, growing from five people to 30 people, this is something really exciting, and we can't wait to bring more amazing games for our community into the world.